If you have a store, then that store needs the product. Today, I will show you how to add product in your store using Vite Pause. Now, we will show you how to add a simple product. Let's give all the information to save a simple product. Here we have to give product name, category, upsell, cross-sell, product description, product image. For gallery images, you can select multiple images. If you want to change the product image, you can change it by clicking the edit icon. You can also remove the gallery image by clicking the remove icon or add an image by clicking the add icon. Give SKU if you want. In dimension and tax here you can give weight, height, width, and length. Here you can select tax status and tax class like WooCommerce. Now we have to give the product purchase price, regular price, and sale price. If you want, you can enable manage stock. If you enable it, then you have to give stock quantity and stock alert. Then click the save button. Here we can see a simple product add successfully. Now if you want to add a variable product, then click again in add product. Here you have to give some information that we show you previously. Here we have to enable attribute. We can select predefined attributes or can add custom attributes. First, we select a predefined attribute. Now we see the hair add an attribute. To add variation in the product, you have to enable the use for variation switch. To add a custom attribute, you have to select a custom attribute and click add button. Here you can give custom attribute name in the name field. Custom attribute option, you have to give option name. For each option, we have to give a pipe for the separating option. In the attribute list, now you have to select the color option and also select the quality option. Then click add button. Here we can see a variation of a product. Now if you want to add more variation, then again select color and quality, then click add. We have to click on the hamburger button and open every single variation product for giving the price, image, set dimension, and enable stock. Here I am only giving regular price to shorten the video. In the same way, we have to add the price, image, set dimension, and enable stock in other single variation product. Now click the save button to save the product. Here we can see variable products add successfully. You can edit and delete product when admin give the edit and delete permission. Here I am admin so I have all permission. If you want to edit any information of any product in the list then click on the edit button. If your edit was finished then click an update button. Here we can see product update successfully. If you want to delete any product then click on the delete button. Let's see what our added products look like. For that, we have to go pause menu. Here we can see that our added variable product and simple product come in pause successfully. That's all about adding products. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to get more updates.